Hello and welcome to the section of the Chemistry Tutor. Here we're going to continue talking about half reactions, trying to figure out if they're oxidation processes or reduction processes. In the last section, we just wrote the half reactions down, looked at how the electrons must be moving around, and from that, figure out if it's oxidation or if it's reduction. Now we're going to continue along the same lines and basically deduce the same information but with the full-on ionic reaction written down. So let's go and do that. Let's write an example down and we'll see if we can figure out what's going on. What if we have two iron uh, ions, aqueous solution, plus 10, an aqueous solution, all right? And that yields two irons in aqueous solution. These have a charge of plus two, uh, plus 10, and these guys have a charge of plus four. So notice that this is not a half reaction. This is a full-blown reaction, but it's an ionic reaction because it's a reaction in aqueous solution, and all we see are the things that are changing here. As I've said many, many times before, I want to make sure you understand, you don't go to the lab supply warehouse and buy iron three ions in aqueous solution, typically. You don't go buy 10 ions with a charge of plus two in a bottle. You don't do that. When, the, when you see equations like this that have charges all over everything, those are what we already call net ionic equations. We've learned about those before. Basically, you, you might have some you know, iron sulfate or something like that, and you might have some tin you know, nitrate or something like that, and those are bound up, and those are what's on your, on your shelf stable on your, on your shelf. When you put them in water, they react, and then the other part of these compounds, like the nitrate or the sulfate or whatever it was that, that you got grabbed off the shelf, those are just the spectator ions that are sitting around in solution but not doing anything. So when we see a reaction like this, two iron ions and then 10 ions and then iron ions with a different charge and 10 ions with a different charge, what we're showing here is this is what's really actually participating in the electron transfer in, what's, in other words, what's actually happening in terms of chemistry. There are other things potentially floating around solution. You might have nitrates or sulfates or other things that were originally bound to these, these species up there, but they're not participating, they're spectator ions. And we've talked about that stuff in the net ionic part of the course earlier, so make sure you understand that. So you're gonna very commonly see these net ionic equations with charges all over everything because they're occurring in aqueous solution. All right. So the question is, uh, what the first thing I want to do is split this up into half reactions. That's what the purpose of this problem is. I want to split it up into half reactions, and I want to identify which half reaction is the oxidation process and which half reaction is the reduction uh, process. And so what I'm going to do 